Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Magic Keyboard 2 and see if this particular keyboard is still worth buying in 2024. Now, here's the funny thing. This is my go-to keyboard. This is a keyboard I've been using every day for so many years now. I think since 2017, for about seven years now, I've been using this keyboard. Now, I think in like 2019 or 2020, I ended up breaking this keyboard. I spilled water all over it. But then I ended up buying the exact same keyboard again. And funny enough, my older keyboard that wasn't working for a while randomly started working again. So I don't even know how that happened. But I will tell you, from all the devices Apple makes, their Magic Trackpad 2s are my favorite things Apple's probably ever made in my opinion, but their Magic Keyboard 2 is also up there as well. Now there's a couple different variations of this particular keyboard. You can get that standard Magic Keyboard, but you can also get the Magic Keyboard with the number keys around it too. So it depends on which model you actually prefer. Me personally, I like the smaller Magic Keyboard, but I actually do like that full size keyboard Apple makes as well, because you are getting like, just you're getting the numeric keys, you're getting the, you know, up and down that's kind of separate. That's more of like a professional working kind of keyboard. This one is specifically the smaller one that I actually like a lot. Now, if you want to pick up this keyboard, links will be down in the description. You can get that from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, I will tell you with this particular keyboard, the thing that I love the most about it is that it's very sleek and it uses almost basically the same ports that all my other Magic accessories kind of take. So although iPhones and everything have switched over to USB-C, I'm still able to charge my Magic trackpad, my most of my AirPods, and my Magic keyboard all with the same cord, which I like a lot. Again, if I had a USB Type-C port on all these, that'd be even better. But the fact that it's still Lightning is still perfectly fine. It doesn't have to take some like older type of I.O. or anything. This thing did come out in 2015, so it isn't like the newest thing of all time. It's a little bit older, and honestly, next year, it's going to be turning 10 years old. And some people might be thinking that there might be a successor of this particular keyboard. I will tell you, if this thing broke today, I would buy the same as that keyboard tomorrow. If this thing were to break next year, two years, five years from now, and there still wasn't a successor of this thing, I would still buy it 10 years from now. And the reason for that is because there's not really too many things that will kind of age this thing. As long as macOS is still supporting this keyboard, I don't really have too many issues with it because it just works. I've had keyboards back in the day that I would always have to kind of tinker around with and kind of mess with, and sometimes they would be the most annoying things in the world, and I hated messing around with it. Same thing with, you know, mouses as well. I'd always buy like 30, 20 to $30 cheap kind of ones I find on Amazon, not the best look. I started buying these used Magic keyboards and they are significantly better for maybe like 50 or $60. It is just a no brainer in my opinion to buy one of these things. Now the keys still have a lot of you know tactile to them. I've been using this specific keyboard for about four years. The keys still click into place. There's still nothing faulty going on with these particular keyboards. And I don't really baby these things at all. You have to remember, I'm not the type of person who just will go ahead and like cover my keyboard and like put a skin over it and clean it off. If this thing breaks, I will just you know, go buy another one. Now, it's never really leaving my room at all, but it still is very durable. It hasn't broken yet. And I still think from that side, it's still holding up very well. There's stains on it and everything. These keyboards that they made are white. So if you spill coffee on it, if you spill any liquid on it, it's probably going to, you know, probably going to be visible. So just kind of keep that in mind. But I do think regardless of that, it's still holding up very well from the, I guess, the build quality standpoint and from the, just the durability standpoint as well. None of the keys have failed either, which is another really big thing. On the top side, you're getting that lightning port, which still holds up very well. You can charge up this thing. Not really too many issues going on there either, as I mentioned before, as you could probably guess. You're still getting the on-off switch at the very top. And on the bottom, you're getting that Apple logo. Now, that's kind of it here. There really isn't anything else super crazy going on with this particular keyboard from that particular side. Like, it's still holding up very, very well from the build quality standpoint. Charging, still perfectly fine as well. It's holding up very, very well from that side. Haven't really ran into too many issues where this thing is just, you know, not performing well from a battery life standpoint. And once again, I do think from that side, you know, too, very, very good type of, you know, keyboard from that particular side as well. The only complaint I really have from this particular keyboard really is the fact that this particular keyboard, maybe like the keys maybe are like a little bit too close to each other sometimes, like with the arrow keys. But even then, it's not really that big of a deal. And once you get used to it, it's really not that big of a deal. Like that was my only complaint when I first bought this thing is that if I'm going through and clicking the keyboards and I have to use the key, like the arrow keys, they're kind of mushed together a little bit too close. But that's why but that's why Apple has built the bigger one with the you know numeric keyboards and all that stuff because you have those options. So personally, in my opinion, it, the Magic Keyboard 2, not only is it still completely worth buying, but if Apple were to make the successor of this thing tomorrow, 
I don't even think I would go and buy it yet. Like they would have to put in like USB type C and some other crazy stuff inside of that keyboard in order for me to even upgrade. If they just improved the battery life, even if they made it three times better, I don't think I would really go and upgrade. There's not that much I have to complain about with this particular keyboard, to be honest. It's still very good. If you have a device that supports it, I would 100% recommend buying it. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, hold on.